Hello everyone, welcome to Avipedia. This is Abhishek Sharma and today we bring the new concept for economy that is inflation measurement. Now inflation measurement within an economy is a very important aspect as it is. We can understand the economic growth from it. We can understand how high the prices are, whether the affordability of goods and services is there for the poor people or not. So from this aspect, inflation measurement is very critical. From the UPSC point of view, this particular topic is asked in almost every year's examination in pre. So it is very, very important. As far as inflation measurement is concerned, we have to know at least three basic things with respect to this topic. One is the Urjit Patel Committee's recommendation from 2014. Second is the CPI combined index that we are using for this inflation. And then what are the issues associated with it? So as far as Urjit Patel Committee is concerned, in 2014, it recommended that we should now measure the inflation with respect to the CPI combined series that was started to create in 2011-12 instead of the wholesale price index that was being used before that. Now within the CPI combined index, what they do is they have kept a composition in uh, favor of food which is 45% of the weightage and within this index food and fuel, they are if they are part and parcel of the inflation measurement then that is called as headline inflation and in case we do not take into consideration the food and fuel aspects of the CPI index, then we get to the core inflation within the economy. Now these volatile components, food and fuel, they are moved away so as to understand how the inflation is actually moving within the economy. But the other part headline is also important if you need to know how the poor in the economy will be uh, uh, you know, affected by this inflation. So. The measurement of inflation is basically the methodology is from point to point and year on year basis. So let's say in February 2020, if you want to know that how much is the inflation, so you will have to compare the CPI data or CPI combined data with February 2019 price indices. So in this way, if the prices are higher, then that's a higher, that's an inflationary trend. If the prices are lower, it's a deflationary trend. And uh, in this case, one more thing that has to be known is the base effect. See, as it is, the base effect has a particular concern in terms of the methodology itself. The methodology states that you have to uh, compare the data from point to point and year on year basis. Now, in case there is a high base with which you are comparing, let's say the February 2019 prices were unnecessarily high because of some reason and uh, today's prices are even normal. So even the normal prices will feel to be lower if the base with which you are comparing is very high. Similarly, if the base with which you are comparing is very low, here again, the prices that which, with which they are being compared, even if they are normal, you will feel that there is a lot of inflation. So this has been asked even in UPSC, what is base effect? So very directly they are, so it is the uh, effect of price levels of the previous years on the inflation levels of the price level in the uh, incumbent year. So this way uh, we can determine your inflation as it is within the economy right now. And the whole responsibility for this purpose is with the NSO that is the newly formed institution after the combining of CSO and NSSO. And uh, the CPI measurements are being done on a monthly basis. Now the issues. As it is, you know, since the RBI's monetary policy is today too much anchored upon the inflation management and because of that, sometimes because of the base effect as we discussed, the inflation is expected to be higher than what it can usually be. Now, if there is a higher inflation expectation, then the monetary policy tends to go towards the dear money stance and because of that, the economic growth can get curtailed. So this too much fear of inflation can be a problem for the economy and this uh, has to be validated by the RBI that whatever monetary policy stands it is preferring because of the inflation measurement should be justified. More than that, little bit of inflation is good for the economic growth but the Ujit Patel committee itself suggested that the uh, inflation rates or the anchoring of the target should be somewhere around 4% and uh, a range of plus minus 2% should be kept in mind. So because of this particular recommendations being put in place today, we are a bit comfortable with respect to the inflation management aspects. So it's between 2 to 6%. Off late due to onion prices, due to crude oil prices, a bit rise in inflation did happen, but now we can definitely revert back to normal. So it is within range, 
at once it happened that it went out of range in uh, December, January and now we are back into the normal fields like 5%, 6% inflation rate. So that is healthy enough for the economic growth that India wants to pursue, especially when the nominal growth rate is pegged at 10% of the GDP for the 2021. So this will be in line with that requirement. So I hope you understood the inflation aspect. If you have any more questions, you can write in to me at abhishek at rate abhimanyu.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and press the bell icon for all the latest updates on economic concepts. Thank you so much. Have a good day.